I'm back at Rebellion. This is Anna Stella. And you're watching Anna Stella Rocks with Kim Janet and Mike Gray. <laughs> Congratulations, are you excited about that? I oh, am yeah, buzzing, buzzing, love playing festivals. Have so. you been there before? No, I've never been there. Great festival. Be, yeah. I love it. I can't wait, yeah. can't wait. Oh, yeah, I'm still waiting for an announcement today that Terrorvision are playing. I'm yes. waiting for one more announcement. Yeah. Did you know? No, we didn't know oh, that. That's exciting. <laughs> there we go, it's a first for me. Yeah. So have you got any other festivals planned for next year? Um, no, that's the only one that we have so far, I think. Now, you've got a solo album in the works, am I right? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> when, can you tell us about that? When's that like? Uh, we're happen? just currently kind of chipping away um, right. with it, so it's, it's coming whenever it gets finished. And is it co-written between the two of you, or just Kim, or just Mike? Or? I mean, I've, I've written the songs with it. I mean, okay. how it generally works with... Um, I only... My, my participation in music is music that I've written okay. you know whether it be jagged edge or skin or red white and blues it's kind of um i only work on projects i write yeah because um, i'm not a big fan of playing other people's yeah, sure. music um so i've written the album and um and you know we're gradually recording it but, you know one track at a time i tend to uh, work that way yeah. um, all the drums are recorded but you know Finishing a song is a learning process, and once you finish a song, then you, you take that knowledge on to the next one as well. Yeah. Um, so that's that's where we're at with that. Right. Okay. So I expect there'll be an announcement at some point next year. Yeah. Yeah. Probably next year. Now, okay. I, I think after these two shows and um, Winter Storm next week, um, that's kind of gonna be. We're going to be chilling for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard to do too many things at once. You know, yeah. it's like. It takes, because of the nature of the projects where we don't really see each other that much, yeah. you know, Colleen is in another band and everyone's doing various bits and pieces, you know, so to, to perform at a high level, you, you kind of have to focus just on that one thing, you know, to play in a certain way, sing in a certain way. So when you're jumping, it's, it's, it's the reason why bands tour as a block and then yeah. they record as a block and then the cycle sort of goes on like that. When you keep going from one thing to the other, it uh, kind of dilutes the focus on, mm. on, on, on making a record or performing optimally live. Yeah. You know, so um, unfortunately the way this project has worked has always been like these stop starts. Yeah. Uh, for many reasons, you know, when we played download we had to have certain songs released out on video and stuff like that. Otherwise, you know, Kim would have been playing with no, no songs out yeah. there. You know, it just wouldn't have happened. No. You know, there's no way that an artist can play a download with nothing released sure. you know so we, we had a very tight deadline in order to get a certain amount of songs out on video and mm. out into the general public mm. uh, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to play no. you know so then that has always broken little bits up yeah um kim is it fair to say that mike's been a, a mentor to you yeah i would say yeah. so so no, come here. because I think, from what I can gather, is he's not sort of just an influence on and helped you with, with your your own career musically, but actually lifestyle-wise, I understand that you've taken up yoga <laughs> as a result of your direct influence. I, I mean, I right? can't I can't take credit for any of this. You know, <laughs> Kim is her own force of nature. Yeah. You know, she'll she'll be selling out stadiums and making records long after I'm dead. You know, so all I've done is is I, I saw someone with an exceptional talent, yeah. you know, and I have a history of working with exceptionally talented singers. Mm -hmm. I, I saw no reason why Kim couldn't be as famous as any any of them. She has the, the ability and talent, stage persona to do all of it. You know, all I did was just um, provide an opportunity for more people to hear her and, and to launch a career, um, mm. you know, I have every confidence that Kim will go on and do everything that she wants to do musically. So yeah. you know, my involvement is, uh, I don't really like it overstated too much. I just, Playing it down. I just opened the door, yeah. you know, a door that she'll tear down herself one yeah. way or another. You know, it's, you know, it's just, um, it, 
just as, you know, it's a very tough business. Yeah. You know, to get DJs to play you, to get put onto festivals, to get, you know, radio stations to play your track. It's, it, it takes a long time to know mm. these people, you know, and, and um, to know who to call, who sure. to send the right email to. Yeah. You know, you know, you don't get put on a Black Star Riders tour without having a close connection with the people involved and yes. Ricky I've known for 30 years and Adam the manager I've known for yeah. quite a considerable time so this business is all about who you know what you know is required but without the who you know I think it's the same with so many industries really yeah, exactly. probably even more so in, exactly. in this one so, so all I did yeah. was just about provide a, a tiny step up okay now before I forget I did mention this, this yeah. before Kim I've had this delivery today from Jeez. the lovely people that came over the room. So I'm going to ask you to take a swig of the bottle. Okay. When the bottle's yeah. empty... Oh, so I have, have to drink the whole no, thing? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not when it's been empty by you. Okay, guys. Well. <laughs> when it is eventually... It's going to be a really <laughs> interesting show if I had to down this whole bottle before be. we went on. <laughs> um, I'm planning on auctioning it for charity. So, Sweet. proof... Here. Won't they want the alcohol? No. All oh, right. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> You'll still be getting, able to smell it. Okay, you can fill it with something. Honestly, water you can really or smell this. It's strong. So there's going to be multiple <laughs> people drinking yeah, from this. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay. At least Kim's like. That's alright. I warned them. No, she's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't, have, I don't have anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I brushed my teeth this morning. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Uh, back to that. I'm going to move on to uh, questions from Twitter. Oh, cool. So this one's from uh, Derek Beakey, and you said he's got a cheeky question for you. Uh, let's say hi to Derek first of all. Hello, Derek. Hey, Derek. Okay. Uh, how can I get my hands on a physical copy of Wildcard at Canuck? Wildcard? I don't think any exist anymore. That was uh, an album. Not an album. It was a... Gosh, the building's coming down. And <laughs> let's, let's, let's answer quickly. <laughs> it, was, it was like one of the first EPs that I wrote yeah. when I was a kid. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll have a little look if I can find one yeah, tonight. If you can dig out a it'll be ruined it'll be cracked. Oh, and it'll be mind. ruined, but I might have one like <laughs> underneath my bed somewhere. So <laughs> Yeah. I think that's really cool that people know what that is. Yeah, well, uh, yeah I didn't know what it was, but uh, I'm pleased you just okay. It's probably for the best. <laughs> We're gonna move on to a question by Martin. Tolly, hello Martin. Hey Martin. He says, saw you at Rock and Blues Festival, outstanding performance. Any chance of you playing Download again next year? And he says, ideally on the same day as Maiden. Ah, so will you be playing Download again? Uh, I, I would like to. <laughs> download if you're watching, like, <laughs> you know, is there any chance we can play I think again? I made all their announcements. <laughs> no, yeah. so maybe, maybe it's they, probably maybe not going to happen. Year. Yeah, maybe you are. Well, maybe, next. maybe next year. Maybe some other time. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the last question here. This is from MMI Music Management. Hello, MMI Music Management. Hey. This is a question for Mike. When are you going to pick up the gauntlet to become a recognised ambassador to animals? Now, I just might add, you're well known for being a supporter of animal rights. Mm -hmm. you're, you were a vegetarian and now you're a vegan. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, in terms of ambassador for human rights, I mean, I've gone into a dog fight and stopped a dog fight and had a knife held to my throat oh my in the process of doing it. I've broken into places and rescued animals. The amount of times I've uh, been spat at, punched, kicked, oh and, and when, when you are intervening with animals. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know how much more I can get involved. It's you also have a pet, uh, pet fox. Yeah, it's, <laughs> not, it's, <laughs> pet. it's something I've done. For thirty years, you yeah. know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a very personal subject to me. Yeah. You know, I've always had a a close. Um, I don't know what's the right word. I don't like to see anything suffer or yeah. anything being in pain. Sure. And my lifestyle, I just try not to incorporate any of that into my life, and uh, try not. You know, that's just. It's a tricky subject. You know, it's like people feel that you're preaching to them or that. It's it's not um, it's not how humans are meant to live, but you know I've I've always sort of gone my own path. Mm. What made you go from being vegetarian to deciding right I'm going to be vegan now? It was just the next step for for me. You know I, were, I was going through uh, a divorce at the time, which was a very uh, painful process, and in order for me to come to a greater understanding of suffering, whether it be my own personal or anything else is suffering, 
it once once it was explained to me that being a vegetarian is no different than really being a meat eater in terms of the products that suffer, the, the, the beings that suffer, the entities that suffer. You know, dairy farm dairy farming is just as brutal as as is, as any abattoir. So um, it was just a logical step for me, you know, and and also from a health health perspective, it was the best thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you want to show us any yoga? I can. I can show us any yoga. I'll show you I, some I, yoga. I used to be a personal trainer, so there we go. Yoga wasn't really my thing, mm -hmm. but I always incorporate yoga stretches at the end of my yeah, yeah. workouts. You know, so. There you go. Look. Oh. <laughs> wow, and I haven't, don't think I've tried to do that, so I don't know. <laughs> well done, kid. Very impressive. Very impressive. I, I love showing off. Yeah, you <laughs> can do that on stage. Especially after the run. <laughs> um, probably not, because I don't think it'd be appropriate in any of these songs. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'll just stand on my head now. Probably <laughs> Well, well, it's been really nice chatting to both of you. Looking forward to seeing you. Oh, it's been good to see you again. this evening again. Yeah. And for the first time I've seen you, so. Thank you very much. Until next time. This is Rock and Roll.